Hey everybody, Ted Forbes here. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, what we're gonna do here is I'm going to show you uh, how you can set up a website from scratch, a complete working website in under five minutes. And as you hear me talk about on my podcast all the time, I think this is really important. And uh, it's important that you have a website. If you're a professional, you're gonna need it to get work. And if, and if you're not a professional, I think sometimes it's nice to have a space that's outside of uh, Flickr or you know a photo sharing website that you can use to display galleries and some of your best work or you know put photos online for friends of events and stuff so anyway, we're gonna get started here um, I'm gonna move really fast I'm gonna get this done in five minutes and I've actually seen people do real similar demos to this in less uh, but because I'm talking and trying to do three things at once here I'm gonna allow myself an extra minute but the point being is that you know in a very short amount of time in our case five minutes we will have a built working website and uh, so anyway I'm gonna use this online timer here so we'll, we'll time ourselves and I'm gonna move pretty quick here because I want to show you that we can in fact do this if you need me to slow down or you miss something or you didn't catch something um, if you are watching this on YouTube I'll have a link in the show notes below but if you go to the art of photography TV um, that's where you need to be I will have everything outlined there and uh, easy to read and easy to follow so I'm gonna blaze through this for our purposes here so anyway um, let's go ahead and set the five minute timer and get ready to go so let's go ahead and say five minutes and we're on so I'm gonna go over to the art of photography page here let's click on the link for Bluehost because we are gonna need a host to set this up Bluehost is really good for the time convenience um, the price uh, they're just a really good all-around service that I'm recommending to folks so we need to enter a domain name because I need a domain so I'm gonna say Ted Forbes photography or let's say tedforbesphoto.com it's going to be my domain. And let's say next. And they're going to ask us to sign up here and put our information. So I'm going to make this easier on myself. I'm going to use one password, do some autofill, and I'm going to block some of these out, obviously, for privacy reasons. Let me make a couple modifications. And we should be good to go here. Uh, make sure my address is right. They're going to need a phone number. Um, Okay, so I think we should be good there. Let's go ahead and do our credit card info and uh, put that in. Okay, now what I'm going to select here is they do have some pricing options. Uh, we have a 36 month price that it gets cheaper the more time uh, you want. And if you want to go month to month, it's fine. It's most expensive to do there. But we're going to go ahead and do a 12 month uh, at the almost $7 rate. Let's confirm to the service terms of service here and say next. And it will take us to another page here. And come on, the interweb is a little slow. I did not count on that. I hope this doesn't cut into our our time and is clearly my connection. Okay, so we do not want additional domains. I think we're good here. Let's go on down to the bottom and say complete. They do have some other things if you're interested. We need to choose a password for our account. So let's go ahead and do just that. And I'm going to put in my password here. And I'm going to block this out as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and log in here, and we'll use the login we just used. Whoops, as I messed it up. And let's say log in, and it's going to bring us in here. So, primary purpose of your hosting account, call this individual or personal, why not? What is the name of your site? We need to enter a name, so Ted Forbes Photography. And we'll say, what phrases do you want to use on Google? I'm going to leave that blank for now. Let's say submit. We got about two minutes left. It's logging in. Okay, so what you want to do, what you want to do is come down to under Site Builders. We're going to say WordPress. Go ahead and click that, and it will start doing the install. And I just want to go ahead and say install. We're not going to import. We're starting from scratch. It's going to build a new version of this. And it says, okay, what do you want to do? Let's say the latest is fine. Uh, where would you like WordPress installed? I'm just going to say the root. Uh, we're not going to do advanced options right now. Legal information. Agree to the terms. And uh, I am not going to put any of these add-ons on. I just don't think I need them. Let's say complete. And here we go. It's installing right now. And uh, you can watch the status as it's going to go along here. And there we are. We are set. So anyway, it's going to give us admin and, and all this. Let's go ahead and open a new tab, log into the admin panel here. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this password right here so I can log in. Say admin. Here's our password. We got under a minute left. Say log in. And voila, we're in the WordPress backend. So let's go ahead and let's create a new post while we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and say posts. I'll say add new. And it's gonna come in and I'll say welcome to my new website. And let's put a picture in here just so you can do it. Upload insert. And let's grab the media from our desktop, which is going to be Train Guy. Go ahead and choose that. Upload. About 20 seconds left. We're rocking through here. And I'm going to say, uh, let's see, yeah, let's put the, eh, use the main version. That's fine. We'll link to the URL. We'll fix all this later. Let's go ahead and say insert into post. And let's say publish. And we at under 10 seconds. As soon as this publishes, then we can say view site. And three, two, one. Boom, we're done. We now have, there's the alarm going off. Cute sound, isn't it? Anyway, we are done now, and I have, in exactly five minutes, created a brand new account and have installed a WordPress website. Now, a couple things, and we'll go through this. I'll make some more videos here, and we can go through, and I'll show you how we can really, what we need to do is set this up to be a photography portfolio website. Uh, WordPress comes with some interesting themes right out of the gate. Um, this is one of the default ones. You can modify this, and I'm going to show you some things I actually prefer that make this behave a little more like a portfolio, but I have indeed created my first post, which is of this train guy here. And uh, anyway, so that's it, uh, and so get yourself a website. I mean, what are you waiting for? There's no excuses now. If I can do it in five minutes in one one try here uh, while being videotaped or screen recorded, then you can do it too. So anyway, um, that's it for now. And uh, join us back in the next video and we're going to talk about part two of this, which is hooking up templates and customizing your website a little bit. And we'll do some more WordPress stuff as we go too because I really love WordPress. I use it on just about every website I've done. Um, I've used Drupal and some of the other content management systems and WordPress is just... It seems like it's the easiest one to use for me, um, and uh, you know, it just does the most. Uh, the security's all taken care of. The SEO is really good in it, and I just don't have to fool with it. So anyway, uh, join us in the next video, and we'll move on from here. Thanks a bunch.